Hey guys, welcome back to the web coding. So in this video, we are going to discuss our next question that is search a 2D matrix. Okay, so this is the extension question from the previous one. So these are some conditions for this question. Okay. So the previous question was at this point, the element is smaller than this. In the previous question, okay, at this point, the element is smaller than this. Basically, the array was sorted like in the in this order row by row okay row by row. now in this question integer in each row row are sorted in ascending from left to right so the row are sorted like this okay like this row are sorted like this and the columns are sorted in ascending from top to bottom so the columns are sorted like this okay columns are sorted like this from top to bottom so we need to find a data in this in this matrix so let's erase this first so let's find some data let's take 13 we are finding 13 in this question okay or and we, we are not going to traverse at every position and finding the data where it will be at which position okay we are going to use the optimal solution here that is uh, not going to work into n into m we are optimize that we need to find data in the optimal solution so for that we have two points to start with first one will be the top right and second one will be the bottom left corner okay so why these two points only so let's consider the first uh, uh, row and column. So the 15 is a maximum element in its row and the smaller element in its column. Okay, likewise 18 is a maximum in its column and smaller in its row. So we are going to start with R is 0 and C is 4 here. R is 0, C is 4. Okay. So 15 is greater than target. Now 15 is a greater than target. We can't go on to this side. Why? Because all the elements on this position, these positions are greater than 15 because it is sorted like this order from top to bottom. So we need to decrease the column by 1 and now we are at 0, 3 that is 11. Now if matrix of R, C let's write some pseudo code is greater than target then we are going to decrease our column column minus minus else if if our matrix of r comma c r comma c is smaller than target now 11 is smaller than target okay if it is smaller than target then we need to increase our row why because we cannot go on to this side why because it is smaller than this 11 all the element on 11's left is smaller so we need to increase our row now we are at 0 comma 3 that is 12 so the 12 is smaller than 13 again smaller than 13 so we are going to increase our row so row are increased now we are at 2 comma 3 that is 16 now our element matrix of r comma c is greater than target so we need to decrease our column here why because all the elements all the elements on it uh, on these positions are greater than 16 so we need to uh, decrease the column by one now we are at 9 9 is less than 13 okay 9 is less than 13 so matrix of r comma c is less than target we need to increase our row because we cannot go on to this side why? Because it is lesser than this. Now we are at 3 comma 2 that is 14. So 14 is greater than target. 14 is greater than 13. So greater than target. Now we need to decrease our column. So this is our answer. Okay. So this is the approach to solve this question and it will be work on n plus n side. n plus n. Okay. The time complexity of big O of n plus n. So I recommend you to pause the video at this point and code it 
after that you can watch this video okay so these are this is the pseudo code let's try to code it so let's take this on to the full screen we need to start with row that is zero and the column that is matrix dot size minus one is placed on the at the last column why we need to find this condition okay if matrix of r comma c is equals to equals to target then we need to return then we need to return uh, true okay if you have in the data if we have data then if we have data then we need to return true okay else if if matrix of r comma c is greater than target then what should we do if matrix of r comma c is greater than target then we are decreasing our column two. so here c minus minus and the last part will be the else part that is r plus plus why the matrix of r comma c uh, is less than target then we need to uh, increase our row okay and after this if we cannot find the data we need to return false also okay so let's try to try run this code let's give me a second we need to find the condition for the y okay for y let's take a target that is target is 90 okay target is 19 here now we are at 15 so 15 is less than our target so matrix of r comma c this condition is written here that is if condition if matrix of r comma c is less than target okay so we are uh, increasing our row so row is row here 0 and column is 4 now our 15 is less than target matrix of r comma c is less than target then we need to increase the row because why because all the elements on its left is smaller than this so we need to increase the our row now we are at 1 comma 4 that is 20 now 20 is greater than target 20 is greater than our target then we cannot go on to this side because all the elements are greater than this okay so we are decreasing our column now we are at 1 comma 3 12 is less than 19 again matrix of r comma c if it is less than then we need to make sure to increase the row why row because we cannot go on to this side all the element on this side of the 12 is so smaller than 12 so we need to make sure that now we are at 16 16 is again smaller than target again we need to increase our row now we are at 17 now 3 comma 4 3 comma 3 17 is less than target again we cannot go on to this side okay we are increasing our row now we are at 26 okay 26 is greater than 19 if the matrix of r comma c is greater than 19 per target then we are decreasing our column here now we are at 23 23 is a greater than okay. again again we are decreasing column now we are at 21 again 21 is greater than our target again we are decreasing our column at the 18 18 is smaller than target then we are going to increase our row so this is our exit point so we need to make sure that uh, let's give a minute uh, we need to make sure that we have we are in within the matrix the r and c is within the matrix okay so let's write this condition also r is 
R is less than matrix dot length and C is greater than equals to zero. So this is the condition. Let's try to run this code. So rejected. We have some error. It is yeah matrix dot size here. Let's try to run this code again. So it gives true. Let's try to submit it. So submitted. I hope you understand the question and the approach of this question. Thank you for watching.